Hey, what's up everyone? Kevin here. In this video, I wanna share with you guys the first 10 tricks you can learn in the terrain park. I'll share with you guys the one key for each trick and also some of the most common mistakes. Let's jump right into it. The first trick to learn in the terrain park is the indie grab. So in my opinion, the indie grab is the easiest of all the grabs. The indie grab is where you grab between your bindings on your toe side. And the key to this trick is really getting a good pop off the jump. With a good pop, it's gonna help you to bend your knees, bring your board up, and then you can reach down and get the grab. The second trick you can practice is a 50-50 on a box. The key to the 50-50 is just practicing it ahead of time on the snow. So finding a patch where you can do a few speed checks, ride with your snowboard straight and perfectly flat, and then do a few more speed checks to control your speed. If you can practice this trick outside the park first, then when you bring it to an easy mellow box, you're gonna be really successful. The most common mistake for the 50-50 is just approaching it too slow. So make sure that you're comfortable with speed, riding straight and flat, and doing speed checks again to control your speed. The third trick is a front side shifty. The front side shifty is another trick you can try on a small jump. And the key to getting this trick is just twisting at your waist so that your upper body and lower body are going in opposite directions, bringing your snowboard around sideways. A mistake people can make is just thinking about this trick too soon, but wait until you're in the air to actually get the twist and then untwist to ride it out straight. The fourth trick, and this one actually builds off of the shifty, is a backside board slide. So this is the first board slide trick you can learn and it's very similar to the front side shifty where you're twisting your body to bring your board sideways. The most common mistake on this trick is sliding out backwards on your heels and the way to fix this and avoid sliding out is to take your front hand and reach it down towards the box in front of you. That will keep your weight more centered over top of your board. A good way to progress with this trick too is just to ride on straight first and just do a small shifty to start and then you can get your board more and more sideways as you feel comfortable. The fifth trick to learn in the park is a cab 180. This is where you're riding into the jump switch and then you do a 180 so that you come around and land your normal way. For your first 180 trick, this is a bit of personal preference. You can practice these outside the park and then see which one you're the most comfortable with. In my opinion, the cab 180 is the easiest because you're landing in your normal direction. And the key to a 180 is definitely just getting that clean pop off your edge, twisting your board underneath you, and then riding it out clean. You can build off of that 180 trick and then take it to an easy box. So sliding across the box 50-50, starting to face your chest forward down the hill, and then twisting your board underneath you as you come off Doing a 180 off is a great way to progress with your 180 tricks, and you can also do them in all kinds of different directions, depending on the, which one you're the most comfortable with. The seventh trick to learn inside the train park is a backside 180. The key to the backside of 180 is coming in on your toe edge, getting a clean pop straight into the air, and then turning your upper body backwards so you can twist your board underneath you spotting the landing, and then landing again on your toe edge. To be successful with the backside 180 inside the park, make sure that you've done it lots of times on side hits outside the park first. The eighth trick inside the park to learn is one of my personal favorites, and it's a cab 180 onto a box, and then a back 180 off. This is a fun trick you can add your own style to, and the key for this trick is really twisting the 180s on and off, and then when you're on the box, making sure that your snowboard is completely flat based. So by twisting, it'll allow you to land flat and then create that second 180 without having to use an edge, just keeping your snowboard completely flat and then twisting it out. The ninth trick is a nose grab. I think that after the indie grab, the nose grab is the next easiest grab. And the reason it's so easy is that you're looking forward, you can see your nose in front of you. And to get the nose grab, you really wanna get a good pop off of the lip. By getting a good pop, this will help to bring your knees up to you. And if you can think about just bending your front knee up, then this will angle your board so that your nose is right there. You can grab it with your front hand. 
hold it as long as you can and then release it so they can ride it out straight. And the last trick on the list is a backside 360. For the backside 360, you're gonna be coming in on your toe edge, winding up facing forward, and then as you come off the lip, you're gonna wind your upper body back, keeping your head looking around until your board comes around about 270, and then just twist that last 90 degrees to land on your toes and ride it out. Backside 360s are one of my favorite tricks, and you can definitely just start on a side hit like this and then slowly progress until you're taking them onto jumps. So those are 10 tricks you can start off with in the train park. If you guys have any questions, definitely hit me up down in the comments. I'll also put a link to my gear in the description. And if you guys want to support the channel, I'll put a link here to my Patreon. Thank you guys for watching. Have fun out there learning snowboard tricks. And I'll see you in the next video soon.